What's up YouTube welcome to a video in this video we will learn how we can decode a DLL file uh, so first we're gonna decode uh, the DLL file then after seeing the code and editing the code we will gonna put it back into the DLL form so the first step is to download a free software named as just decompile so go to this go to this link the link would be in the description download the software so after the download is finished close the browser and start stalling the just decompile So uh, you have to just check the just decompile here and there are other softwares from the Telerik brand. Click next, uncheck the setup Telerik and you get package. Then check this, yes I accept, next. Then put uh, uh, whatever email over here. and whatever the name and click install So the installation is completed. So now we're gonna open our just decompile and it is easy as this. You drag a DLL file here, then open it, open it further, and here is the code. So it is extracted and decoded uh, exactly as it should be and this is the uh, namespace and the draggable is the name of our class and the uh, methods in the class so now we're gonna test it out for our second dll so it is decoded right as well you can change the language over here we have three options so we can switch to visual basic and get its code as well so we will gonna copy this code copy all these methods uh, with the class and now we're gonna make some changes into it and then uh, encode it again in the dll format so close the just decompile and come over to the visual studio so we will make a new project of type class library and of dotnet framework click next and click create So inside our namespace, I'm gonna paste all the code uh, from the DLL and make some changes over here like this. So I'm making some changes and then I'm gonna come over here in the build menu and build the solution so one succeeded come to file open folder and open the folder of the project come to bin debug and here is your recorded dll now we will gonna open the just decompile and see if uh, the changes has been made
so this is our recorded dll and you can see that the changes have been made you can change the language as well so i convert it into visual basic so this is all for the video all the links are in the description do check the other dll videos as well and also more dll encoding and decoding methods are coming your way so do subscribe to the channel and press the like button see you next time